size isn't as important as you might think at the Greater Jacksonville Kingfish Tournament. And while, yes, the biggest fish will still win, it's the size of the one that hooks it that really doesn't matter. I know, he's short, but he's back. 1355, another nice fish. In its 29-year history, the five-day tournament became known as a family-friendly festival. And even though things were pared down for this year's event, the focus remains on the future giving special recognition to the over 150 boats that entered the Junior Angler Tournament this year. That's, the, that's our future. That's our crown jewel is these kids out here today. Uh, they don't gripe about anything. They're happy with everything they do. Coming and up to the docks that now, doesn't necessarily we have carry Junior over. Angler number But that doesn't 11. mean they don't like to compete or know what they're doing. Well, the fish grabbed it yeah, and, and it didn't grab it as hard as I thought it would, so we didn't think it was a keen fish at first. Jacksonville's own Tanner Burt, the first junior angler to weigh in on Tuesday, was the tournament's front runner early on. 32.25. It was the 10-year-old's first time in the competition, but he seemed to already know that hard work is just part of it. It started staying close to the boat, but then it took the line deep, so it was hard to bring it back up. I'd like to remind but after a few minutes, he finally tied out and got close to the boat, so Drew, my cousin, could dra uh, gap it. Tanner felt good about his catch, but was careful not to be overly confident. Um, there's still a lot of people who haven't come in, so maybe. We'll do awards to the 50 top Junior anglers, number one gets a 15-foot uh, Carolina skiff, uh, but uh, all of them are winners. It just so happens 50 of them get to carry something home with them, but they're all winners. Every child out here is a winner. And perhaps the future of the Greater Jacksonville Kingfish Tournament wins as well. To see the results of the Junior Angler Tournament, pick up a copy of Wednesday's Florida Times Union. And be sure to check back throughout the week for more from the general tournament. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford.